Hi, this is Montana. I just wanted to talk to you this time about platooning in World of Tanks. What you're going to be seeing here is a battle I had uh, recently with a couple of clanmates of mine, Kamakwa and Whaler, 99. Whaler is the clan leader for Great White North. It's a mostly Canadian, most partially American clan, but mainly just we like to hang out and have fun and play tanks and no clan wars or any of that, no drama, just we get on, we've got a TeamSpeak server, we hang out, we talk, and we hopefully are going to be able to tune up and get some damage done that way. So this is one that we had recently that stuck out in my mind. It was a lot of fun, and it kind of goes a little bit towards why you want to platoon in World of Tanks. And so as we're going around through the different things, you'll see kind of what's happening in the game. And so that last little bit of silence, I was trying to remember why it was paused. But the game itself, there's Kamakwa way out on the right, and that's Whaler that's back in behind me. And so uh, I'll talk a little bit about the skills. You can see most of both teams are red or orange. Uh, Kamako and Whaler, green, myself, I'm yellow, see Asian Masters on the other side, 9703. I'll go into a little bit more detail on the stats here in a bit. I know some people may say uh, stats and they don't like XVM. I've seen people who wouldn't see XVM banned. But the big way that it's a great tool isn't to sit and give people grief in battles because they're not a good player the great use of it is to be able to see which targets you want to shoot at and who is the important person that you want to make sure you knock out on the other team because in a small battle like this with a lot of just tier 4s and 5s those tier 4s if it's a really good player like that 9703 he can be pretty dangerous in this case he's only in an arty I've seen arties carry battles but it's few and far between if I was going to be in a battle, and I was going to be carrying the team, I'd want to be in as big a tank as, with as big a gun as I could get. So, right now I've got it paused a little bit so I can talk a little bit about the stats on this. You can see Kamako and Whaler and myself up there. You see uh, Whacked Eddie P on our team, each of us with nine or 10,000 battles or more. On the other side, most battles, the most experience of anybody is 9703 with 6,000 battles really good stats for those 6,000 battles, but that's about as far as it goes. And you see a lot of people on the other team with 0,000 battles. A lot of people won two, three, four thousand 4,000 battles on our team, but then just between Kamako Whaler and I, you've got near 45,000 battles. And that's going to be a big deal when we come into this battle against a team that doesn't have 30,000 battles across the whole team. It's just, we'll make different decisions. We're platooned up the way we are. And when you see how the other platoon on the other team, this is one of those examples that having a platoon doesn't mean you're going to win, especially if you go out and just start driving around like these guys do. I'm not calling these guys out at all. It's just, they just don't know. And when you've got 0,000 battles, platooning with somebody else who has 0,000 battles, or like that middle guy there, he, they just don't register, that's not going to be a good start. And so you'll see here in a bit uh, where I'm located. Uh, Whaler is ahead of me off to my right. There he is, and the Kamak was on the ridge back in behind us. Seems like a crazy spot to be, but if you're a TD, you're going to be back someplace where you can snipe, and Kamak was going to sit back there, and he's going to pop people as he keeps on going. And you see that platoon up there with Stump. I'm targeting so sexual. Stump's in the Panzer three off to the right, and then that Sherman... I think there's a Sherman in on that one. No, he's already dead. Uh, the Sherman's somebody else. But with the way that we're playing, each of us is telling the others what we're going to do, where the dangerous spots are, and you can see it's just kind of all move around. Kamak was sitting back on that ridge. He's able to snipe down to about the F line, and nobody's going to be able to touch him except for Artie, and they have to see him first. And that M7's coming up through there, and he might get shot, but uh, Kamako's not going to get seen by him because he just killed him. And so it's just going to keep on going like that. And we're sitting back 
in what is probably the best situation to be in a platoon. If you're a pretty decent platoon, if the other team is not that experienced, if they're not that good at all, and your team is not that aggressive, which you can see these guys are just kind of hanging out. Our Lush is all the way down on the corner of the map, but that's about the extent of it. You're going to be able to hang out and benefit off of the other team's mistakes. You're going to be able to benefit because if your team's not aggressive, your team's not going to be getting a bunch of kills. And so we can go through and do lots of damage. And right there, that's something you definitely want to do, is if you know you've been spotted, you back out. You start moving, you do something. Because that's three arty hits I've missed, that's a direct shot I've missed from somebody. And so as we come around, we're gonna we're already coming in to finish these guys off. Enemy and hit. it's it's all but over. Enemy armor is destroyed. And at this point, that's part of the fun of having a platoon going on comms is that you can sit there and just give each other all kinds of crap. Right now we're arguing about who's gonna get which kills and what's gonna happen. And so we're Enemy trying to destroyed. essentially we're to the point now where we're just trying to steal kills off of each other. Enemy armor is damaged. I think this SU5 over here, the last guy left, I finish him Enemy off just as everybody else is ready to shoot him. But the, all in all, that was a pretty good battle. We had a good time, and that's really what it comes down to for platoons: is you want to have a good time, you want to go through and enjoy what you're doing. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. And if you get angry at the game, you need to turn the game off and go find something to do. When you get angry, you're going to make mistakes. If you're having fun, you're going to play better. It's just kind of a whole mental thing there. I know it sounds a little bit oh, patchouli-smelling, crystal-rubbing philosophy, but uh, before we all start singing Kumbaya, just think about it. If you are enjoying something, you're going to do better. If you're not enjoying it, you're not going to be doing any better. And you can see how the stats turned out on that. You can see 12 kills out of the 15 for our team. So that's not too bad. And so we've got all of the different awards, crucial contribution, I mean, critical contribution, yeah, critical contribution. And then you see myself and Kamako and Whaler up towards the top. Not really anything really to write home about, but we had a lot of fun. We got some good good awards, and we ended up 12 of the 15 kills. But hope you go out and have some fun yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.